Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can use PCI Express adapter if you bought it from the internet and you want to use the NVMe drive now on all motherboard but you don't have a NVMe slot so how you can use it you can just by a few steps here I'm going to show you in this tutorial you will need a USB drive, any kind of USB drive you can do this with external SSD or internal SSD but it's more complicated so to keep more things simple you need one USB you only need one USB and now we can start and make the bootable drive to Clover so we are using Clover to make this so here we're gonna go to this website and we're gonna need to download this boot disk utility now we're gonna click on this on this image this blue image to in order to download the the program so we're gonna click here click on this so we got here this zip winrar zip file archive here so we can do this and double click on it and click on extract to and then you can choose to extract to certain location but i'm gonna choose like this i'm gonna right click on it to make the tutorial as simple as possible i'm gonna right click and click extract here and now here we we'll get these two files we're gonna click on BDU utility here, BD utility here, double click on it and now here we're gonna select our USB drive here and click on format and here it will it says that it will delete all of the files from your USB data so if you have any important files make sure you back up your data and click on OK here and now it's gonna format the the USB stick or USB drive USB disk and it will we we'll have to wait for this to finish and that's pretty much it after it says all done it says again format disk it means it completed successfully so we're gonna exit from this now and now we're gonna go to this PC and now we go to our to our BDU here this file on our USB double click on it now we're gonna go to EFI then we're gonna go to Clover and we're gonna go to drivers and then we're gonna go to off and then we're gonna find nvm express the xe dot efi this and copy it right click on it and copy or you can just go ctrl plus c and we need to paste this file to the this location we're gonna go back and then we go to start here on the page that we started and we click now on efi on clover then click on drivers and we're gonna copy to BIOS and we have to paste the DXE file so paste as you see it's pasted and now we're gonna go again to drivers to UFI and paste again on the same page on the the same file on the on this page as well now we're gonna go to Clover again here and we're gonna make a folder new folder and here we're gonna type in drivers drivers 32 UFI like this UEFI and now we need to create another another one which is new and folder and we're gonna name this one drivers 64 UEFI and then we're gonna go to these two folders and we're gonna again paste the same file the DXE file that we got from the NVMe Express paste and we go again to Clover 
and then we go to this folder and once again we right click on it on the empty folder here and paste the same NVMe they express this one now on this config file you can adjust some things if you want so we're gonna double click on it and go to notepad and click OK and now we're gonna search for and then type in time out and we're gonna click on find next and here is the thing that you want if you want to not wait that much for example you want it to be as quick as possible now on default settings it's on 5 you can put it on 3, on 2 or 1 so I'm gonna choose on 3 and we're gonna close now and save and now the, all, of, all of the parts has, have been completed now you just have to restart your PC and make sure you boot it from the USB drive and you will get this screen and make sure with the arrow keys you can control here it should be automatically selecting your NVMe drive but if it's not selecting automatically you can do by arrowing left or right and you, it has to say like e, boot EFI to EFI and it should work everything as correctly and your windows should be starting from the NVMe drive make sure the USB plugged plugged in all the time if you unplug the USB it will not work anymore it has to be unplugged all the time on in the PC and I assume that you have already installed Windows on the NVMe it should start automatically that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like the video if this video was helpful for you and see you in the next video bye